th this is the last of the seven freeze groups. Wherever I've seen lists, this is always listed as the, the seventh one, is the last one. There's lots of ways of talking about it. I'm talking about it as if it's a B, D, P, and Q, because that's how the pattern is arranged, which means the way I like to, to look at it is how would I get from one to the other? Like I could do a horizontal reflection to get the to go from here to here, and then I could take this whole thing and vertically reflect it. That's one way of doing it. Or you can do a vertical reflection and then a horizontal reflection of both of them. Or you can even do a vertical reflection and then rotate them. So it's just a matter of how you think about it. So let's just do a bunch of examples and um, hopefully it'll be clear. So you start with the unit. I'm making it look like a little B because, you know, BD, PQ, which is fortunately in alphabetical order, easy to remember. But it doesn't have to look like a B, of course. Uh, so there's my B. I'm going to vertically reflect, reflect it. Then I'm either going to think of it as a horizontal reflection, or I can think of it as a 180 degree rotation. It's the same thing. So then I can then continue my pattern. I'm going to move this whole thing over. Continue the pattern and it would look like this because what I've already created is my basic unit. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want you to see something else. So I said I had it set up like a, a B and a D so I could talk about it in those terms. But uh, once you've got that idea of um, how they're how they're arranged according to each other, uh, you can do it completely different. Like this is the same thing. This is the same pattern because you could still see where all the symmetry actions are the same as before: horizontal reflection, vertical reflection. If that's the way you want to think about it. Uh, sometimes I've seen there's glide reflection in this, but that's considered what mathematicians call a trivial um, characteristic because it's 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 so embedded in the others that you don't really have to think about the glide reflection. So there we go. So it could look like that. Or I can put it like this. Go. Cut this one off. Easy to get them on. There we go. Has a different look to it. Uh, let's see. I did some pattern blocks. There's the unit. Reflection, horizontal reflection, uh, vertical reflection, horizontal reflection. That's nice. Did another pattern block one because it seemed to like being, this pattern block seemed to like this particular, uh, this particular pattern. So it could be like this or it could be like this. One thing that is often you'll see with this one is that there's an X in the middle. That just seems to happen a lot, either an X or a space. Uh, and I think of this sometimes as, a, as an X. Oh, um, one thing I wanted to point out with this one is sometimes you, you see it as an H and you can see how the H, how it looks as an H. Do you see the H here? So sometimes you'll see uh, this referred to as an H. And here's a whole bunch of them, except for one isn't really, uh, which is, 
Let's see, let me get out, go out here. Sorry about all this. There we go. Okay. Uh, so these are all, uh, I like I like the, doing it with these uh, trapezoids because you can see that depending on the orientation of the trapezoid, you get a, you get a different look. But um, this one gives you more of that X, but this one gives you the space inside. Here you can see the X, but you can, extending the pattern, you can also see how there's that space inside. The only one here that I wouldn't really consider this particular uh, this 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 particular freeze group is this one because if you look this is actually from here to here this is act over here that's a vertical reflection and then this is a vertical reflection again so this really doesn't count as the number seven freeze group Okay, uh, anything else I can show you? Here's one of my symmetry tiles. And so if I'm going to build it with a symmetry tile, what I would do is start like this. I could either choose to start with a vertical reflection or a horizontal reflection. And then I can do, then I can vertically reflect this whole thing. So this would be my vertical reflection of the whole thing. And that's it. Freeze number seven.